Hey everybody, welcome to today's tech tip brought to you by StreamingTeacher.com. Today we're going to be talking about editing tabs in the Mastercam router product. So I've got a part here and inside of this profile you can see that I'm lifting up for tabs. We've got four tabs on this part. I've got two on the sides and then two in these corners. Now I don't really want those tabs in the corners. I want to change them. So there's an easy way to do that. I'm going to go over to the geometry for the operation that I'm concerned about. I'm going to click on that geometry. I'm going to select the chain that I'm currently concerned about. So I will right click that and go down to edit tabs in the third section. Now I have my tab editor available. So we can use this dialog box to make sure that we know what we're working on right now. This says select tab to move. So if I wanted to move this tab, I could select it and now if I move back and forth, it's letting me adjust that tab. Let's do this one more time. We're going to move this tab into more center between those holes. We'll put it right there, let's say. So I'm done moving tabs at this point because I feel like I actually want to delete these corner ones. So I'm going to click Enter. And then I'll go down to the Delete button here. Now it says Select Tab to Delete. So now I'll select this tab over here and this one over here. Notice that you don't have to click right on these lines. You can just kind of click inside of the vicinity of that and it will pick it up. So with those deleted, maybe I want to add a couple. So I'm going to press enter because I'm done with deleting and now I'll go to add. And I want to add a tab here. Notice that as soon as I got close to that line, that tab option just popped up. So we'll add it there and we'll add one here. Now we've added more tabs. When we're done with that, we can hit enter to be finished. There's also a delete all key. If you just decide that you want to start fresh, just hit delete all and you can start all over again. Thanks for joining us for today's tech tip. 